Hey guys, happy new year. We are in uh, early January here and uh, we got a few hours to fish this afternoon so we're gonna head out, uh, hit some trips. Uh, I think I actually only have one spot I can fish. Uh, we've had really tough conditions here lately. All our snow melted off and uh, we actually got a bunch of rain and uh, that's kind of really blown a lot of the trips out. Uh, plus on top of that we've had a lot of west wind which means the Niagara is going to be all churned up. So like I said I think I have one spot I can fish and uh, probably going to primarily fish the swim bait. I'll probably take a float rod with me but this area uh, I've done well with the swim baits in the past and so I'll probably mostly be fishing the, the four inch Kytec again that I love to fish. And I wanted to mention to you guys too that uh, be sure to check your local trip regulations uh, if, you, if you target these fish with lures uh, like I like to do. I love to go after these trout and salmon in these trips with uh, you know stick baits, jerk baits, jigs. You know I fish a lot of jigs and swim baits and uh, you really got to check your local regulations because uh, they can differ a lot. Like the Niagara is totally different than a lot of our other uh, South Shore Lake Ontario trips. And like with the swim bait, for example, uh, you can't go heavier than an eighth of an ounce, which is why I fish the eighth ounce. And uh, the hook from point to shank can't be more than a half inch. So just make sure you're checking on that. And uh, we're gonna get after it here and see if we can get a fish. Well, rub the dam here and see what's going on. Talked to a couple guys walking out and they said it was pretty dead. Uh, which isn't good news, but uh, the water, water looks pretty good. It's up a little bit, some color to it. So if you guys watch my videos, you know I spend a lot of time fishing the swim baits. Um, but I haven't really talked a lot about how I try and fish them and how I read the water. So that's the main thing I wanted to accomplish with this video. Uh, you can see I'm casting just a little bit upstream because uh, the water on the far side is actually eddying back towards the dam. And uh, I'm casting a little upstream because I'm only using an eighth ounce, like I said. So I'm trying to get that deep. Uh, basically, there's a shallow ledge on the far side. And uh, I'm casting up on the ledge and slowly swimming that bait off into the deeper slot that's more out towards the middle. And uh, the deeper slot is where I'm hitting the fish. Uh, you're going to see I'm going to get a brown here shortly. I actually had another brown on, uh, but it came off pretty quickly. And uh, my fingers were too cold to hit the camera button, I guess, because I missed it. Um, but uh, the main thing with the swim bait is uh, you want to be ticking bottom. Um, I've noticed that no matter where you fish, uh, you want to make sure you're ticking bottom now and then that you're keeping it deep because you really have to do that to be in the ball game. Uh, so that's probably going to mean that you're going to lose a couple lures throughout a day of fishing, sometimes more. Uh, but uh, that's that's just the way it has to be because uh, if you're not down there you're not going to get the fish so you can see the guy below me is hooked up right now uh, he actually has a what I believe is a nice rainbow on I didn't get a great look at it but it looked like a nice colored up rainbow and right about here I'm going to hook up on a, on a decent brown Fish on here. Just hit the one too. I got one on here too, man. Small, I think it's a small brown. Yeah. Hey, can you nut one for me, man? Can you nut one for me? Thanks, bro. I just got a small brown. He's right here. He's right on the fence. Thanks, man.
Oh, that's a rainbow. Where's it? Yeah, that's a rainbow, isn't it? Oh, we didn't get skunked. So that's it for now, guys. Just a quick video. Just wanted to uh, give you a little insight on how I try and fish the swim bait. So it really is a fun and effective way to catch trout and salmon in the trips. So try it out and uh, let me know how it goes for you. Leave a comment.